All right, here we go. Question number two from our 0314 homework number seven in my lab math. And the instructions say solve. Here we have another quadratic equation. And to solve a quadratic equation, the first step is to set it equal to zero. So we're going to have to move the 27a over. That's going to give me 3a squared minus 27a equal to zero. And since this quadratic is a binomial, we're going to solve by factoring. So looking at each term, we want to ask ourselves, what do they have in common that I can factor out? Well, they both have a factor of 3, and they both have an A. So we're going to factor out 3A. Remember, when you factor out, you're dividing. So it's as if I'm dividing each one of these terms by 3A. So for the first term, the 3's are going to cancel. A squared divided by A leaves me an A. And for the second term, 3 goes into 27 nine times, and the A's cancel completely. So here we have factored out the 3A, and now this is factored completely. And so now we can set each factor equal to 0 and solve. So we're going to set 3a equal to 0. If I divide both sides by 3, a is 0. That's a solution. And a minus 9 equals 0. Moving the minus 9 over gives me a equal to 9. Now then, that's how to solve manually. Let's look at how to solve this electronically, okay? So if you're using the Casio ClassWiz, <clears throat> what you want to do is go to the menu, scroll down to the equation slash function option, and hit equal to select. Our equation is polynomial, so number 2, and the degree is 2. In fact, every quadratic equation has a degree of 2. That's the biggest power on the variable. And then I simply need to input the coefficients for a, b, and c. So the value of a is 3. 3 equals. That is the coefficient of the squared term. The coefficient of x, in this case the coefficient of a, is minus 27. Notice that you have to pick those values once you have your equation equal to 0. So that's going to be negative 27 for b. And there is no constant. There's no number without a variable. So we're going to use 0 and equals. And then if I hit equals again, we can see x is 9. And if I hit equals again, we can see x is 0. So the calculator does verify those solutions. And again, it doesn't matter what order you put them in. So 0 and 9. And we're done. Yay. All right. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below. Or you can text me. And thanks for watching.